In the last video we made the eyebrows. If you haven't already watched that, I put the link on the top right corner. We use this photo as our reference for the eyebrows and we're gonna do the same for the eyelashes too. I recommend you find a good reference as well before starting this tutorial. Okay, let's get into it. Go to render properties. In the hair section, put it on a strip and increase the sub depth. Go to edit mode. In the face select mode, holding alt, click on the edges between the faces to select the whole set of faces. Do the same for the second round but holding the shift as well. Doesn't matter if you do the right eye or the left eye cause we're gonna mirror it at the end. Shift D to duplicate and right click to get it back to its position. Press P and selection to separate it. In the modifier properties, apply any subdivision modifier you got there. Ok now go to the weight paint mode and start painting the outer parts of the bottom one. The eyelashes will grow there. Go to object data properties and rename the vertex group to lower eyelashes. Click on plus to add a vertex group. Then start painting the top like the bottom one and rename this one upper eyelashes. In the particle properties, click on plus to add a new particle system and put it on hair. Decrease the hair length and segment on tree. The hair count is too much so decrease the number to something low like 20 or 30. Then in the density select the vertex group that we made earlier. Control tab and go to particle edit. Using the cone tool groom the strands based on your reference. First straight to the outside then grab the middle of the line and drag it down just a bit. Notice we're missing some hair in some parts. Pick up the add tool and fill in the empty spot. Make sure the count number is on 1. Select the strands by pressing L on each of them. Then using comb, groom them just like the rest. Pick up the length tool and grow the left side a little. Then choose shrink in the menu and start shrinking the right side just a bit. In children section, put it on interpolated. Decrease the display amount. In the clumping, increase the clump and mess around with the shape. In roughness, play with the end point a bit. You get that randomness in the hair but not too much. If you want them more organized, you can go back to particle edit, select every two strands and get the tips close to each other. This way we'd have more uniform eyelashes. Now in hair shape, increase the diameter roots and decrease the tip for better transition. Now for the bottom one, scroll up and add a new particle system. Set a number to something low like 30 or 20 and decrease the length to something short. Put the lower eyelash vertex group in density and again in children section, put it on interpolated. Pick up the add tool and add the remaining strands. Again, make sure the count number is on 1. Go to bottom view and guide the hair this way. Make sure the root position is enabled so you don't move the whole thing. Now lower the brush size by pressing F and gently drag down the tip of the strands. Pick up the length tool and do the exact same thing that we did with the upper eyelashes. Now back in clumping section, increase the clump and change the shape so the tips get close to each other. If you want more messy eyelashes, you can mess around with the roughness, especially the end point. But if you want cleaner looking eyelashes, go back to particle edit mode and again select the strands 2 by 2 and get them close to each other. Also I have to mention, if you want to see your hair while moving the strands, you can always turn on children so you can see what you're doing. As you can see, I have these weird looking hairs on the right side. To fix that, go back and turn on show emitter if you haven't and go to weight paint mode. Pick up the subtract brush and remove the parts where you don't want any hair on it. Make sure you do that for both vertex group that we made. If you have distance between your strands, make sure you add more by choosing add tool, shrinking and cutting them down and get them close to each other. In the hair shape, I put the similar number as our upper eyelashes. It's better if you're in render mode while changing the hair shape and children amount so you can actually see how it's gonna turn out. Before you get any renders, make sure show emitter is off in render section and also in children section, the render amount should be the same as the display amount. Do the same thing for all of the particle system you got. And there we have it. If you find this video helpful, leave a like and subscribe because we're gonna do the realistic hair in the future and you better be here for it. And yeah, peace.